All right, let's uh, talk uh, further on this then. We are now joined by President of Al Jamaa Party, Hanif Hendricks. Mr. Hendricks, a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you very much for being with us this evening on SABC News. A pleasure. Mr. Hendricks, discuss um, you know, the challenges that you're having uh, with the uh, proposed amendments uh, to the Divorce Act. You've said that it's uh, unconstitutional and you've uh, laid the blame uh, squarely at the foot of the Justice uh, uh, Committee. Talk to us about your challenges. Look, uh, the Speaker has recalled, not recalled, but has alerted the Chair of Chase, who is in France on, uh, you know, for the spring, for the World Cup rugby. And he had to break away from his important business there and engage with me. Uh, there are further engagements and both the Speaker's office and the Office of the Chair of Chairs of Parliament, mm. they are preparing uh, reports in this regard uh, because uh, they feel that Al Jama has a valid uh, claim right. uh, for the matter to be re-looked at. So let me just explain that it is a fundamental principle in our constitution mm. that everyone must have access to all our courts. Right. So you can't exclude Muslim women, you can't exclude Hindu women, and you can't include uh, women who are in re religious marriages who do not have an African marriage certificate. So that's why the Constitutional Court uh, declared that the Divorce Act is unconstitutional. And uh, come the 28th of June next year, South Africa won't have a Divorce Act unless there is a Divorce Act that gives access to all women yeah. uh, to the Divorce Court. So what the Department of Justice did they only dealt with Muslim women. And when the matter was discussed in the Portfolio Committee, yeah. uh, with the, uh, the other parties raised uh, issues with regard to Hindus, uh, with regard to other religious groups, the response was that they must wait. Yeah. Now, you can't, pub you can't put into the public domain a bill that is, uh, uh, on the face of it, unconstitutional. Right. So I questioned the parliamentary legislative drafting team of parliament uh, who gave a constitutional certificate and also the state uh, advocate who gave a certificate of constitutional compliance. That bill is not constitutionally compliant. We don't have a quarrel with the amendments because uh, I authored the amendments right. and the Minister of Justice, which is his right, I uh, used uh, 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 my bill and published it under his name without acknowledging us, but that's another problem. <laughs> Mr. Hendricks, I just uh, want to so interrupt you. I just want to interrupt you quickly here because I'm looking at the key clauses uh, that are being proposed to amend uh, those unconstitutional sections you speak of, and I want to um, focus specifically on clause three. So, uh, in essence, what you're saying is uh, because here in clause three it says amend section seven of the Divorce Act by empowering a court to, to grant a divorce decree on the dissolution of a Muslim marriage. So, if my understanding is you're saying instead of just saying Muslim marriage, also insert um, Hindu marriage, also insert other uh, re re religions. Is that is that essentially what, what you're saying? As simple as that? Or is there more to it than, than, than what you're saying? Because it does seem... No, it, the, it, 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 in, yeah, no, yeah. continue. Yeah. No, it is as simple as that. Yeah. It is as simple as that. And I think that you should try and join the Department of Justice because they have a shortage of, of experienced uh, legislators to draw uh, to draft legislation. <laughs> uh, it's as simple as that. All they had to do, uh, and uh, the Deputy Minister who looks after legislation on behalf of the Minister of Justice, he was adamant that other women must wait. Yeah. Now, how can he let other women wait? And uh, I feel that while we are quite happy, because we are a Muslim party, that Muslim women will be catered for, right. it is unfair that uh, women in other religious marriages after their representatives raised it in the portfolio committee, uh, the attitude of the Department of Justice is, uh, you know, that they must wait. They can't wait another three years, yeah. which is the time it will take uh, to do another round of legislation. Why do you think so it's taken... So how can the speaker publish... Yeah, why do you think it's taken so long, Mr. Hendricks, to look at these sort of uh, amendments? They're very clearly uh, unconstitutional. I mean... Uh, one could have said that, you know, where, where there is a conflict between, um, you know, religious uh, practices, you know, the right to, pr to practice one's uh, religious freedom, which also, you know, is in the Constitution and the balancing of women's rights. You know, one might say that it's obvious that women's rights should uh, weigh more in that 
scenario. But, you know, one wonders why it has taken uh, this long when it comes to the Divorce Act to address these very fundamental um, equality sort of uh, issues. I found the answer in the report in uh, in the Friday newspapers tonight. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, the, 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 the reporter indicated that the Department of Justice has acknowledged that they don't have staff in their department uh, that can deal with legislation. There are dozens of bills that are outstanding. Uh, they are going to be in contempt of court as far as constitutional court or this is concerned. Most of the people doing legislation for the Department of Justice mm. uh, have service under two years and there's only one person with three or four years service. So that department is inadequately resourced. That's why I suggested maybe you must join the department because you came up with a very simple uh, solution. All they had to add instead of uh, Muslim marriages, if they wanted to satisfy the constitutional court, they could have said Muslim marriages and all other religious marriages. But all the religious marriages would have sufficed. Yeah. All right. So the and I deadline... can't understand how. Yeah, the, the deadline yes. for public submissions is was uh, uh, today. Let's talk about, um, you've obviously been quite outspoken about uh, the issue you're, you're having. Let's talk about the submissions perhaps that you've made. But you've also said, um, you know, you want a, a government to pay attention to those uh, public submissions that would have indeed uh, been sent in by today, hopefully. Now, I've, 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 I've asked the speaker yeah. to withdraw the, uh, the, the bill yeah. and to start all, all over again, which means that uh, they will have to fix the uh, bill uh, uh, and you have suggested how they fix it. It must then get a new certificate of constitutional compliance from the state advocate. He must do his job. He didn't do his job properly. Mm -hmm. And also the, uh, the legislative drafting team of parliament there's a special constitutional committee. They must relook at the amendments. And then it must go for public participation. So we've now wasted a month. And that means that they won't meet the constitutional deadline of the 28th of June uh, next year. And South Africa won't have a divorce act anymore. All right. OK. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Thank you very much for being with us, uh, Mr. Hendricks. Appreciate your time. Uh, Hanif Hendricks is the president of uh, Al Jamaa. They're uh, talking to us about some of the issues that they are having uh, with uh, the proposed amendments to uh, the divorce. Act.